Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the uh, Sony Z3 uh, in white. There you go, it's a nice looking phone. This is the, the full size one, not the compact one. Um, you've got a side charger thing there and you've got some uh, flaps that open up that you can put your memory card and memory sticks into. <clears throat> So that makes it sort of waterproof up to a certain distance under the water. Uh, it's got NFC on the back. Uh, it's got a 20.7 megapixel uh, camera on the back and uh, a front facing camera as well. And let's just start the phone up. It's very fast, this phone, um, from from uh, the three days or so that I've had it, um, I've noticed everything's really responsive on there. Uh, had no problems with it whatsoever, really easy to set up. The battery life on it is really good, I don't know if you can see it there, uh, it's got 47% battery left. And... Um, I charged it on Monday night when I got the phone and it's now Thursday night uh, so it's only used about half of the battery uh, let's go into battery life on there as you can see there estimated battery time is two days and 13 hours three days one hour into standby mode and see there like what I've been using gives you a breakdown of uh, the battery usage so approximately two days left um, I haven't been using it as much as I probably would do normally so um, I've probably been using it a couple of hours a day so far uh, but it's been in standby mode with uh, Bluetooth on the whole time as you can see it's on up there uh, that's been on the whole time uh, so the battery life's really good on there so probably when I'm using it more um, like the five six hours that I'd normally use it's probably going to last about three days which is really good uh, most of the other phones I've had I've had to charge every day so uh, for a phone that maybe I only have to charge uh, sort of maybe sort of once every couple of days if it lasts only a couple of days then uh, that'll be fine as well uh, so that's that's really good uh, really happy with the battery life on there uh, let me show you some of the cool apps that it came with uh, the life log thing so this logs all of your kind of uh, your daily stuff that you do like calories burnt uh, even shows that it's been raining and stuff on there as well so you can go back and forward over over the time and you can see what calories you burnt uh, haven't used uh, it much today so it's not picked up any of the steps because I've not had it with me uh, while I've been outside uh, just been using it inside so but you can see there the steps that I've that I did yesterday on there so you can get a breakdown on there uh, break down the the sort of times that you did these kind of steps and you've got a thing up there with like a kind of you know goals and stuff that you can do so it's really cool and also the phone came with this uh, smart band uh, it's a it's a, a Sony smart band talk uh, SWR 30 uh, let's just switch that on so when you wear this outside it will pick up all the steps that you've done uh, so obviously I haven't worn this today and I haven't taken it outside um, I've just brought it from my kitchen into the living room so it's counted those steps and that's about it um, but there's little apps that you can put on here I've got a music one so I can pick up the uh, if there's a, uh, a song playing I want to know who's singing uh, that song what it's called uh, just tap on there and it will uh, record a little bit of the uh, song and tell you who it is and uh, it's, it's a really nice this watch as well obviously it's really nice it's got little buttons on the side uh, the big one there is for the volume up and down, so as you can see there. And then this is the little one is the one to go through the different menus. 
and if I get a phone call while I'm while I'm wearing my watch and I've got my phone in my pocket or whatever, I can actually answer the call um, by pressing this button on the uh, on the side there, and then I can actually talk through my uh, watch and uh, hear the people, the person calling me. Uh, there's little speakers on the uh, left and right side there at the bottom, and there's a little speaker on the top there on the side just above the uh, large button and it works really really well I've tested it a couple of times and I've had my you know first time I tried it I put my arm sort of up towards my uh, face so that it would thinking that maybe it, it wouldn't pick it up that well so it'd have to be pretty close and I could hear the other person clear as anything as though I had the phone next to my ear and they could hear me as uh, really clear as well. Um, and then the second time I tried it, I left my arm to my side. And it picked it up really well as well. They could hear me and I could hear them perfectly fine. Uh, obviously, you can turn the volume up and down so it'd be a bit louder or a bit quieter. Um, and also, when text messages come through, uh, it will come through at the side like that. And it will give you who, who text you and uh, the message but you can't scroll through the message so if it's a really long message you're only going to get uh, the first part of it uh, but it's it's good for knowing who's who's sending you a message and also it gives you notifications of um, you know any messages you might have got like emails and stuff on there as well so that's really nice and obviously like you know picks up all your steps running and data like that and then it syncs it to your to your phone so I've tried this a couple of times as well where I've gone outside and left my phone at home and it's recorded the steps and then when I've brought it back home it's um, updated the uh, LifeLog app. Uh, I can double tap on the phone to, to wake it up. Uh, and then it just refreshes up there. It says refreshing and it will update all of the... Uh, of the data on there so if we come back a little bit you can see there it's picked up the, the seven steps and updated it you can also wear this when you go to bed and it picks up um, you know how many hours you've slept and that I haven't tried that uh, that feature yet I am going to try that over the next couple of days but I have read uh, a bit about it and it seems to work really well so we'll give that a try uh, but I was more interested in the uh, the steps and calories and stuff like that and getting that working um also the, the phone picks up like you know things that you know if you've been playing games and, and stuff like that listening to music watching videos it knows it knows all that by you know you can see the breakdowns of it and stuff like that by clicking on these icons so it will be down here in this area what games you've been playing and things like that and how how long for and then you can set a goal for for you know how long you've been playing so I'm really happy with this phone anyway. Um, I had the, the Sony SP, uh, Xperia SP before this one and really liked that phone in the beginning, uh, the first year or so that I had it. Uh, but obviously this time around when it came up for upgrade, I really wanted to get a, 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 an Xperia Z series phone as I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. And, and I do like Sony. I've got their PS3, PS4 and everything like that. So... Um, I've always been happy with them. They make really good products that last. And that uh, the only thing I don't like about this phone so far, anyway, is the sides. On my uh, Sony Xperia SP phone, uh, it has the same sort of edge to it, like this kind of uh, like almost like painted silver edge. And on my Sony Xperia SP, I dropped it uh, probably I think the third or fourth day I had it. And on the corner, it's got. Um, a bit of the silver has, has like come off and it's black underneath so it's not like chipped or anything like that it's not like um you know it's, it's taken a chunk out or anything it's still the same shape uh, there's nothing missing off there it's just like a bit of the colors come off and i've noticed that this is kind of the same sort of edging like feels exactly the same and and when i compare them next to each other it's it looks like it's the same sort of thing that's been painted so I'm a bit worried about, you know, like the colour coming off because it will make it look horrible if, if the colour comes off and then it's black underneath and that. 
Uh, but that's the only thing I've I've noticed so far that I don't really like about about the phone. Um, my wife's got a, um, a Z3 as well, but she's got the compact one, and I do like the edging better on that one. It's more of like a plastic uh, edging that's a bit more see-through-ish, uh, so it's not rimmed in like spray the colour or anything like that. So it's kind of um, looks a bit more durable in that in that sense. But I really wanted to go for the uh, bigger phone. And I did want it in black, to be honest, but uh, where I got it from, they didn't have the uh, black in stock and they wasn't sure when they were going to get it back in stock. So I went for the white one. My Xperia SP was a white one. And I don't really mind it being white, but I just kind of preferred maybe this time getting the black one because of the uh, the coloured side on the black one. It's like more of a greyish black kind of colour. Um, so it wouldn't matter if it kind of got marked or anything like that. You probably wouldn't notice it, but I think you'll notice it a bit more on this one. Um, but yeah, other, other than that, I mean, I'm really happy with the phone. It's very quick. It was really easy to set up. The battery life's really, really good. Um, I like the life log features on it. That's really good for what I, for what I want to do, you know, like kind of my keeping fit and everything like that. So I can track all that to try and better myself and sort of beat, beat the previous records and things like that, like previous week's records and things um and obviously the screen's bigger than what what i had before so i'm really happy with that and the games look really nice the screen colors look really nice uh, i've taken a few pictures and they come out a lot better than what's on the uh xperia sp phone um it, like i say it's 20.7 megapixels so it's like i think it's about over double what, what it is on the xperia sp i think that's only about eight megapixels or something um, and I kind of find that to be okayish, to be honest. But um, this, this is I'm really, really happy with it. So yeah, so I ca I can't recommend this phone enough, really. If you if you're looking for a uh, phone with long battery and um, you know sort of fitness features and all that sort of thing, and with a nice screen, uh, the call sounds are really nice. You know, like uh, there's no echo in or anything like that. I've I've found the, the call quality to be perfect. And um, always been happy with Sony products. They they always make quality products, so I can't really recommend this this enough, really. Um, and also one last thing, if you hold down the power button, you've also got a uh, you can take a screenshot or you can record the screen as well. Uh, that's something I've I've noticed. Not a lot of phones have. Um, I heard someone say to me uh, about a week or so ago that uh, the Samsung Galaxy phones used to have that. Uh, but it got taken away. Um, I'm not sure which uh, Galaxy phone it was. Um, I don't know if it was one of the S5 or something like that, but um, I've never had one of them anyway. But I was just told that it did have a feature like that, but it got taken away. And um, that the Z3 had this feature and that not a lot of phones have this. So this is really good for what I want to do as well. I want to record, you know, some, some videos and stuff of gameplay and things like that from from things and some apps and stuff so so i'm really i'm you know it's another good really good feature about the phone uh so if you're interested in capturing a video and that then um this is another good reason to get this phone so uh yeah so that's my review of the uh, z3 so far uh hope you liked the video and it was helpful uh, to anyone who's thinking about getting it and um, I'll definitely be putting some uh, more videos up of uh, uh, like uh, screen recording uh, so you can see what the quality of that is like. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.